Hi, Caleb with Brownhouse here. And in today's quick tip, I wanted to talk about gas block alignment. Now this probably isn't gonna be the video you think it is uh, because I'm actually gonna be saying it doesn't matter as much as you think it does, uh, but it still definitely matters, don't get me wrong. So uh, in order to kind of show my point here, I have a, uh, I have a bore scope, a digital bore scope, so you'll be able to see what I'm seeing whenever I do this. And we'll just basically uh, show you in the video as I talk over it. But the main purpose, or the main point I want to make in this video is, so whenever you install your gas block onto your AR-15 barrel, especially if you're using a free float barrel, uh, you'll have you know, two different kinds of people. Uh, you'll have the people that run it all the way up against the shoulder. And then you have the people that say, no, that is absolutely wrong. You can't do that. You need to leave a little bit of a gap because that's where it's supposed to index. Uh, and the reason they say that is because if you use a drop-in style handguard or a handguard, like a two-piece handguard that, that kind of clamps over, it'll use a ring on the front here that the gas block will push up against. And you know a lot of the, the hardcore uh, guys are saying you need to leave that gap regardless if you're using the ring or not, because that'll give you proper gas block alignment. But is that true? Uh, no, actually on the, the 223 uh, gas block diameters, that's actually not true. And the reason being is because the gas hole that's drilled in the bottom of your gas block is actually larger than the gas hole drilled in the barrel. I'm saying gas hole, okay? Get your minds out the gutter. So, whenever I slide this on, and I'll show, I'll, I'll just, you know what? I'll just show you guys. We're, we're done, we're done talking about it here. That's not true, I'm never done talking, you know that. All right, so I am gonna slide this over. I'm gonna misalign this gas block a little bit. And by the way, bore scopes are awesome just for, if, if you use it for nothing else, getting proper gas block alignment. I mean, they're, they're amazing. All right, so I'm gonna all right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit record here so you guys can see. All right, so that is the gas port in the barrel. All right, as you can see, it is blocked by the gas block. That's our gas block moving around there. All right, so as I yep, there's alignment right there. All right, so that about right there is the gap for the uh, the the ring. But if I push it all the way in, it's still there. It's still oversized. So it did not matter at all. So if you're one of those guys that are using a uh, clamp-on style gas block, you can run it all the way to the shoulder. It's no big deal. You're not losing any gas pressure at all by doing that. On 223556 is where the gas port diameter is smaller than the gas block in, in any case. So. If you're using a barrel that's dimpled for a set screw type gas block, it's probably going to have that dimple a little bit off the shoulder, which is fine. Just use that just use that dimple mark. That's no big deal. But again, if you don't have a dimpled barrel or if you're using a clamp on gas block like this one, it's no big deal just to run it all the way to the shoulder. And there's your proof. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.